please tell me. Uh, so this is our whipped brie brulee. Um, so we've got a brie, our, our brie uh, mixed with a little bit of honey and a little bit of uh, cream cheese. Oh. Um, we're just going to dust the top with a little bit of sugar. And is that brie melted down there, Chef? Uh, no, it's just, it's more of a tempered, so it's kind of a room temperature. Oh. And then we're just going to brulee the top of it, melt that sugar night uh, until it caramelizes. And do you do this at the, at the table? We do not. Oh, okay. Because I'd buy tickets for that. I'd buy tickets for that. That's actually a good idea, man. We just try <laughs> I'm afraid we'd like the no work all on fire. Oh, yeah. Right. They might have to sign a waiver oh, first. Yeah. <laughs> well, fun and games, do you light the guests on fire, right? All right. Then we just add a little bit of a pistachio crust. Yum. Even that out a little bit. And that just blended up pistachios? Yep. Sure. Just blended up pistachios and a little Luxardo cherry on it. So you made this look really easy, but how easy was the part before we got here? Uh, whipping the brie? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's not super strenuous. Um, you know, I've got a really good staff uh, that has kind of developed their own process to be able to streamline it. So um, it's all about this onion jam too. Yeah. So we've got our, our onion jam. It's got a little bit of thyme in there, some uh, some sherry vinegar. Um, wow. Give it a little bit of acidity, um, but pulls out the sweetness of the onions. All right, I'll do the honors. Mm. And those are just crostinis with a little bit of olive oil and what's on top of them. And, and presumably, this is something we, we would have at brunch do also. I, do I just do so it's on our brunch menu, yeah, but it's also on our means, menu, dinner menu. This uh -huh. is the best-selling appetizer um, oh, okay. on the whole oh. menu. So, oh, neat. Um, it's creamy, it's luscious. And for this, do I put it on top of... Yeah, it's kind of a, a build-your-own, you know. If you're not into onions, you don't have to, but, you know, if you are... People like that. Yeah. See, I saw the sweetness, and I thought I just thought breakfast or brunch, but clearly it kind of goes a little bit both uh -huh. ways, you know. Yeah. Um. Gotta love <laughs> everyone staring at you while you eat. <laughs> um, uh, so that was delicious. Let's let's talk a little bit uh, about the restaurant and, mm -hmm. and and what's ahead. So what's ahead right now? We like I said, we just started brunch. Uh, Chef has a new menu coming out in February, and then also we have Devour Indy which is coming up, we're going to do a three-course meal for $50. Um, I think the Bower Indy starts January 25th or 25th through February 5th. So it's a two-week um, event, and all kinds of restaurants participate around here. Right. Day. Yeah, and uh, not for nothing, but uh, a three-course meal at the Fountain Room for 50 bucks sounds like a... Oh, an awesome deal. Yeah. Okay. yeah and what's going to be on that menu, Chef? I think you guys just got uh, So we're doing our pasta bolognese. We're doing a coffee-crusted beef tenderloin uh, with some potatoes and some of our uh, our baby carrots. And then we are also doing a, uh, a salmon. Right. Oh, that sounds we delicious. And a great price for all of that. We're, yeah. We're, and re and uh, reservations are available through Open Table or through our website, thefoundroom.com. Perfect. We, we're all